The right billing, inventory and integrated accounting can provide major time-saving benefits and it is the absolute necessity for your company's survival. My Boss Retail Billing is a fully integrated total solution for your retail and wholesale business. Manage your customers, suppliers, inventory, tax, etc. in the My Boss Accounting System. Retail Billing will synchronize with integrated My Boss Accounting System and provide you a total solution to manage your business with ease. Important note. You need My Boss Accounting Software, Server or Cloud Edition to use My Boss Retail Billing Add-on Module. Initial Setup Step 1. My Boss Accounting Setup Activate the following modules in My Boss Accounting Software, Server or Cloud Edition from Customize and Settings. Activate following modules from Customize. Bank Accounts Create at least one bank account in this module. Cash accounts. Create at least one cash account in this module. Receipts and payments. Customers. Create at least one customer in this module. Sales invoice. Inventory items. You should import or sync inventory items to retail billing add-on from My Boss Accounting Software. Create following from settings. Tax code. Create at least one custom tax code. Inventory location. Create at least one location. Now open My Boss Retail Billing. Initially it will pop up a screen to select your My Boss Accounting integration. Select the correct edition of My Boss Accounting you purchased and validate the administrator password of My Boss Accounting software. Important note. Retail Billing needs My Boss Accounting software administrator password to link. If you are not created an administrator password in My Boss Accounting, then go to Users and create your password and click Update. Step 2. My Boss Retail Billing Setup Open My Boss Retail Billing from your desktop. You should have an administrator user password in My Boss Accounting to use My Boss Retail Billing add-on. Validate the administrator user password in My Boss Retail Billing initially to log into the system. You should validate the administrator user password again if you change the password in My Boss Accounting. Administrator user validation. Enter user ID administrator and password. Click on continue button. Once you successfully log in, company file drop down will be activated. This will display companies you have created in My Boss Accounting. Now continue button will change to login. Select the company you like to use. Click on the Login button. Step 3. Validate and Sync Data. Validate Modules and Sync Data. Initially you need to validate Modules and Sync Data with Accounting System to get started with My Boss Retail Billing. You do this process only once unless you make any changes in the Accounting System. Click on the Sync icon. Click on the Get Companies button. Now Validate Modules button will be activated. Select the company you want to validate from Select Company drop down menu. Click on the Validate Modules button. If you activated the required modules in My Boss Accounting, you will get a success message. Click on the Sync Date button. Now all your bank account, cash account, inventory location, tax in My Boss Accounting will be synchronized to My Boss Retail Billing. Sync Customers. Go to Modules menu. Then go to My Boss Accounting drop down list. Click on the Sync Customers. Now you will see a pop up screen to sync customers from My Boss Accounting. Select the date from you want to sync customers and click on Direct Sync button. Click on the Update button. Click the Close button to exit the screen. Settings. Go to Settings menu and set up the following. Only Administrator user can do the following settings. Set up terminals, unique invoice number sequence. Set up users and assign company. Set up default accounts, cash and bank. Set up billing message. Set up salesperson. Set up preferences. Set up terminal. This screen allows you to set up terminal invoice number for My Boss Retail Billing. User should use the assign terminal or select a terminal name when logging to the system. Click on Add button and enter terminal prefix with three digits. Enter terminal name, point of sales invoice number. Enter any starting invoice sequence number, if you like. Click on Save button to update. Note, 
You should create unique terminal numbers for each company, even if you have multi-location. Make sure you select the correct terminal name when you log in. Set up default accounts. This screen allows you to set up default cash and bank accounts for selected company from accounting system. You should do this setup to post receipts to the accounting system. Select the company file you sync. Select cash and bank account. Click update button. Note, you must reset the default cash and bank accounts again, if you sync data. Set up billing message. This screen allows you to enter docket receipt printing header and footer info. Enter your company address and footer message. Click update button. Set up salesperson. This screen allows you to create salesperson for point of sales. Click on add button and enter salesperson code and name. Click on save button to update. Set up preferences. This screen allows you to set up default customer and location. Set selling price fixed if required. Restrict not to sell below minimum selling price if required. Quantity lookup at point of sales for all locations. Show print preview during invoice printing. Under general settings, you can change point of sales screen resolution and screen theme. Call display message and enable auto post invoices to my boss accounting. Select the company file. Select and tick your company and general preferences. Click update button. Note, if you enable auto post invoices, please make sure that your internet is connected and working. If you use my boss accounting on the cloud, set up price group name optional. System allows you to create six item pricing groups. Here you can change the group name as you wish. Click on group name. Change the name as you wish. Update and close the form. Set up users and assign company. This screen allows you to create users for retail billing and assign company S for these users. Click on add button and enter username and password. Add company to this user, where this user can log in and enter sales. Select the default terminal for this user. If you wish to provide sync data, post invoices, receipts and view reports just tick the relevant options for the user. Import and sync items. You need to import inventory items from my boss accounting to use my boss retail billing. All your inventory items should have code. Go to my boss accounting and inventory items. Go to the bottom of the screen and on your right you see a small button called batch update. Click on the batch update button. Click the mouse on the grid or control and a key to select all items. Now press control and C key to copy all data inside the grid. Go to retail billing system and click import items icon. Click paste item data button to sync item data to my boss retail billing. By ticking override selling price on top right will override already updated items selling price in retail billing. Now you will see all your items on the screen. You must first copy from my boss accounting and then click paste item data, else you will get an error message. You can also direct sync items from the accounting system by selecting the from date. It is recommended you use auto sync after you import all your items initially to my boss retail billing. If you have more items, click update button to import inventory items to my boss retail billing. Note, if you make any changes to inventory items in my boss accounting such as create new item, edit name, etc., then you should redo the above task again. You can edit selling price and have a price matrix from retail billing system as well. Set item details. Retail billing allows you to edit selling price, enter minimum sales price, enter reorder level and look up quantity on hand. Go to admin icon. Click on drop down menu. Click on set item details. Click on load items it will load all items you imported from the counting system. If you want to view the default location quantity on hand, then click on show on hand quantity button. Make necessary changes to the items if required, such as change default selling price, set minimum selling price and reorder level. Click on update button and close the window. Price matrix. Retail billing allows you to set multiple price matrix for an item. Step 1. Go to settings menu and set up price group name if you want. 
system allows you to create six item pricing groups. Here you can change the group name as you wish. Click on group name. Change the name as you wish. Update and close the form. Step 2. Go to admin icon menu and set item price matrix. Click on load items. Now you can update price for each group. Update and close the form. Step 3. Go to admin icon menu and set custom the price group. Click on price group drop down list. Select the group you like to assign to your particular client. Update and close the form. In addition to 5 group price you get 2 additional pricing options default and last selling price. If you assign last selling price as a price group for a client, then it will auto pick the price you assign on point of sale screen next time when you invoice this client for that particular item. In retail billing you can design your own sales and receipt form according to your printer size and specification. Go to admin drop down list. Select and click on form design. Click on open. Select the default form rptpos.rex from forms folder. Design the form according to your specification. Do not delete any fields from default form. Just hide the field from properties, visible, no, if you do not want certain fields to display, while printing. Once done save and overwrite the existing file. If you make any mistake. You can still copy and paste the backup rptpos.rex file from the backup folder to forms folder and redo the task again. Important note, do not rename the file name or delete any fields. Invoice, post invoices and receipts. Now you can start invoicing your customer through retail billing sales screen and print receipts. You must post sales and receipts to my boss accounting, to update sales, receipts and inventory. If you ticked auto post invoices and preferences, it will auto post as soon as you enter sales. Invoice. Retail billing point of sales screen allows you to enter sales and receive payments instantly. Click on sales icon. Press F10 key or click new icon to start entering sales. You need to do this only once, unless you exit sales screen or put sales on hold. Select customer, sales person and location. You can set default customer and location in preferences. Select discount type. If you provide line discount, you must select the discount type before you start entering items to grid. Enter your item code on item code field. If the code is correct it will move to quantity field. Else you will see a search pop-up screen to search the item. Use tab and enter keys to move around the item code, the quantity, price and discount fields. You can also look up quantity availability while entering item to the grid by clicking the lookup screen. You can update the item to the grid from any field by just clicking Ctrl plus Enter button. If you use barcode scanner, just scan the item from item code and it will auto add to the grid. Press F7 key to update payment. Press tab and arrow key to move between payment type. If you provide 100% credit invoice for a client, then tick credit invoice and this will post full credit invoice to my boss accounting. If you want add additional information on line items such as serial number, warranty, etc. Then press F9 key. Tick show reference number to show on grid. On hold function will allow you to pause active sales screen and move to a new sales. Click F11 key to save and print. If you want to save only without printing. Then press Shift plus F11 key. Post invoices to my boss accounting. You should sync post invoices manually to my boss accounting to update inventory and sales transactions in my boss accounting if auto post invoices is not enabled in preferences. Important note. You should be connected to internet if you are using the cloud edition while you are doing this task. My boss accounting software should be running on your server. If you were using the server edition while you were doing this task, click on post invoices icon. Select the records range you like to post. Verify and post data to my boss accounting. Post receipts to my boss accounting. You should sync post receipts manually to my boss accounting to update cash book and receipts in my boss accounting. Important note, 
you should be connected to internet. If you are using the cloud edition while you are doing this task, my boss accounting software should be running on your server. If you are using the server edition while you are doing this task, click on post receipts icon. Select the records range you like to post. Verify and post data to my boss accounting. Backup and restore database. You can backup and restore your retail billing database from file menu. Backup. Click on backup link from file menu. Browse the path you like to backup and provide a name. Click on backup button. Your database will be backed up now. Restore. Click on restore link from file menu. Browse the path you save the backup file. Click on restore button.